My final piece is just a poem, also by Richard Stilgo, written in 1993. Probably might go down a bit better here. It's called uh, The Very Last Music. And it starts, the very first music was the song of a bird, which of course is absurd, because nobody heard the song of that bird, for nobody had to occur it. But then man came along, and he heard the bird's song, and he got it all wrong. For he took a bamboo, and he blew, and he blew, and the air went straight through. So he took a firm grip, and he tightened his lip, and the bamboo let rip. Soon he found that the sound could be ordered around. If he made it tighter, the note grew in height. If he made a few holes, he could play Barker rolls, pretty preludes as well. And he tune he could want, like Moonlight if he want, or the Liberty Bell. And the very next music was played on his flute. It was nice, it was cute. And he soon followed suit with the brass and the strings and more intricate things. And the music that followed was innocent, free, and chirpy, and cheerful, and mostly in C. Man got clever. His hand tired of working the land, he learned how to make steam and start a dream of beam engines and schemes where he downed all the streams. Bent the world to his will and he built the first mill. It belched smoke and power, black dust of dirt and white flour. And his ambition grew every hour. He picked up the world and he ground it to powder. So the next music was grander and louder. More capable, complex, less folksy and pretty. With less of the countryside, more of the city. More of the metal and less of the wood. Man thought the next music was pretty damn good. He drug the world, he drilled, dug the world's coal and he set it on fire. He drilled the world's oil and the fire burned high. He muddied the skies and he crudded the ground and he studied the sea with the blackened and drowned. He fashioned the train, created the car, the tractor, the toaster, the home whirlpool spa. And this genius at last, in a final crescendo, gave civilization the Super Nintendo. Now Marios were super and hedgehogs were sonic and bleepers and bloopers sang songs electronic. Their drum kits went pish and their pixels went pip and the very next music was sung by a chip. Outside the sea blackened, all nature died. But man didn't care, he was safely inside. Day in and day out, every day he would bend over. Sega, Game Boy and the faithful Nintendo. He spun, flew and kicked each street fighter to death. In the real street outside, no one dared take a breath. But he never went out, it was not bright and clean like the primary colours he saw on his screen. Who cared that the air was all laden with grot? The screen said, mankind, you're a genius, not. And the birds tried to sing through the oil in their beaks. But oil, as well known, is there to stop squeaks. And the very last music, which nobody heard, was the very last song of the very last bird. <laughs>